Small fuel efficient crossovers are a big deal these days, maybe because the only thing more uncertain than wilderness terrain is the cost of gas, right? Well, Q Subaru's new model, the 2013 XV Crosstrek. It's affordable. The premium model you're looking at retails for $22,790, including destination. That, of course, includes symmetrical all wheel drive. It is a Subaru, after all. You might be looking at the Crosstrek thinking, it looks mighty familiar. Well, that's because it's essentially the Impreza 5 door that gets the Outback treatment. That means the suspension is beefed up, cladding is added here, here, and here, arches get protection with an interesting texture, the roof rack is standard. And finally, Crosstrek has an impressive 8.7 inches of ground clearance, better than most crossovers, even more than some full-on SUVs. The engine remains the same, a 2-liter boxer 4-cylinder punching out 148 horsepower and 145 pound-feet of torque. It's flat and sits deep in the bay for a low center of gravity. Change your own oil? This makes it easy. There's a five-speed manual in a world where six gears are common. The CVT automatic is a $1,000 option. Don't avoid the manual transmission because you live in a hilly area. Crosstrek has a hill holder feature. Take your foot off the brake and you don't roll backwards. It makes driving much easier. XV Crosstrek won't snap your neck. Stand still to 60 takes about 10 seconds. The ride quality is good though, not too firm, not too mushy. Road noise is about average in class. Impreza is pretty entertaining to drive. Crosstrek rides three inches higher. Chuck it hard into a corner, and it gives up a little bit, but it's still pretty fun. One of the best handling CUVs out there. I didn't do much off-roading with Crosstrek, but I've got to believe it's pretty capable. I had the Impreza during a rare Seattle snowstorm, and it was a champ even without the extra ground clearance. And I've driven a Forester in some pretty rugged situations. I'm confident Crosstrek will handle most buyers' needs. Subi owners often take their vehicles onto forest service roads and such. Should be no problem. A few things you'll notice when driving. The Boxer engine has a unique sound to it. It's hard to describe. Check it out on your test drive. Also, for better fuel economy, the manual transmission has wider gear ratios, something you'll notice on hills. The EPA fuel economy numbers are 23 city, 30 highway for the manual transmission, even better for the automatic. So I tested it, driving round trip from Seattle to Portland, Oregon to grab a dozen donuts. You have heard of the famous Voodoo Donuts, haven't you? The ones that put bacon maple bars on the map. I also met up with a pod of mermaids. They pose for pictures. Do they endorse this? Eh, it's Portland. That's how they roll. And the final MPG number is, drum roll please. Twenty eight point two. And that's driving like a normal person. I did it without gassing up. This is what I looked at for those three hundred and forty miles. The materials are good. There's a no nonsense ambiance about the cabin. No surprise. It looks pretty much the same as in present. More of this trim might help brighten it up a bit. The chairs covered in durable fabric were pretty comfortable on my trip. The driver gets a knee airbag. Controls on the plastic wheel are helpful. Premium models have no sunroof option, but Bluetooth and iPod integration are standard. Tunes sound okay. Same goes for the feel of the HVAC knobs. Crosstrek is smaller than Forester, but your camping buddies should be pretty happy back here. There's a surprising amount of room. Foot and knee room are generous. I would like to know where the second seat pocket is. At this price, you're not going to get a folding armrest or a power port to charge electronics. This is the only place to stash drinks in the rear. Keep it to two and back and people will be comfortable. Oh, and all the expected storage cubbies are scattered around the cabin, so there are places for your small stuff. Both regular Joe and Godzilla, my giant coffee mug, are good to go. There's no sunglass holder up here, though. 
Really? I should be using file footage from the Impreza review I did, since the cargo carrying capability of the Crosstrek should be exactly the same. But then I don't get a $1.50 Coke and hot dog lunch, do I? I've taken out the standard cargo liner to show you that XV Crosstrek does indeed have a spare tire, something not all cars get these days. A few details make life easier back here, an inside handle helps to keep hands clean. With the seats down, there's a large, useful space that'll swallow a bike or outdoor gear. Me? Well, <laughs> you know I'm partial to this stuff. Just like Impreza, that's six packs of the two-ply. Because of Crosstrek's camping clothes, added ride height, and really cool wheels, the design works better than Impreza, at least to my eye. Worldwide, the Pacific Northwest is one of Subaru's most important markets, and Seattleites seem to be smitten with the chunky, useful shape. So if you're looking for a practical, capable, fuel-efficient vehicle that doesn't cost too much, the Subaru XV Crosstrek is worth a look. That is my take on the 2013 Subaru XV Crosstrek. Wondering where that name comes from? Well, the Crosstrek moniker is only used in North America. Everywhere else in the world, it's simply the XV, which are not the Roman numerals for 15. It means crossover vehicle. Not overly imaginative. And the Subaru folks wonder why they don't get invited to more parties. Uh, that's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.